And now to our lab. Whoa. Where we do incredible experiments. Oh, looks disgusting. To show you how your body works. It's not pretty to look at, but it is brilliant stuff. And today's lab is all about amazing enzymes. Zand, your crackers. I'm what? Your crackers. Chris, this is no time for personal insults. Get your crackers for the experiment. Oh, sorry. Now, your body is full of loads of little proteins called enzymes, which help to break down the food you eat into chemicals your body can use. For example, this cracker is made of starch, which your body can't use. But in your spit, you have an enzyme called amylase. Now, the amylase enzyme breaks down the starch into sugar, which your body can use. And this bit of the experiment you can try at home. Get a cracker. Don't eat it. Simply chew it up and let it sit on your tongue, and we'll see what happens. These crackers are going to start tasting very different. Is it happening? <laughs> it's going sweeter. I said, can you see what's happening? The savoury cracker is getting sweeter. The savoury cracker is getting sweeter because the amylase in the saliva is breaking down the starch into sugars, which are sweet. You've made a real mess. Why don't you try it and you'll notice the difference too? So what's going on? Well, the enzymes in our spit change the starch into sugar and you've got lots of other enzymes around your body, all changing substances from one thing to another, including in your liver. Now, this is an animal liver, but it's very similar to a human one. This liver does loads of different jobs. It's a really important chemical factory that extracts all the nutrients from the foods you eat so that your body can use them. But when food breaks down, your body sometimes makes poisonous toxins. But don't worry, the enzymes in your liver make them safe. One example of a toxin produced by your body is hydrogen peroxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide is actually used by hairdressers to bleach people's hair. And here we go, Zand. There is some hydrogen peroxide. Oh, great. Are we going to do our hair? No, we're going to do an experiment on the liver to find out how it breaks down poisonous hydrogen peroxide. Of course we are. So, we're going to show you how enzymes change a poison and make it safe. Normally, these processes take place inside the liver, but we need to see them in action. So we're cutting it up and blending it, and now all the enzymes are released, and what goes on inside the liver will now happen on the outside for us all to see. Let's go. OK, you hold that. So we're going to show you what happens when enzymes in the liver break down hydrogen peroxide. If this works, it'll look pretty amazing. Oh! oh. All that frothing might look dangerous, but it's actually the opposite. The liver enzymes are turning the dangerous hydrogen peroxide into harmless oxygen and water. Oh, that's really warm. good. There you go. OK, now swirl it around a bit. So all the bubbles in that foam are bubbles of oxygen. We've put the liver in there and the enzymes in the liver are detoxifying the hydrogen peroxide, turning it into water and oxygen. Can we prove it's oxygen? Of course we can prove it's oxygen. Now, things don't burn without oxygen, so let's see if there is oxygen present in these bubbles. So this is one of our special scientific tapers, which, as you can see, is glowing, but not on fire. When I put it in the oxygen... Whoa! That's really good! Whoa! <laughs> the smouldering taper is set on fire by the oxygen that's been created. This shows that the enzymes in the liver have turned the dangerous hydrogen peroxide into harmless water and oxygen. This is exactly the same chemical reaction that occurs inside your liver. It cleans up the toxic chemicals and makes them safe. Can I have my hair done now? <clears throat> what? Aren't you forgetting something? No. What about the new patient in the emergency department? <laughs> this way, isn't it? Yes. Over at the emergency department, 12-year-old Fatima has just arrived in an ambulance with a faulty foot. What's wrong, Fatima? I think a little bit I've broken it. You think you've broken it? Uh-oh, what's happening? 
Fatima and her sister Warda were riding bikes outside their house. Fatima challenged Warda to a race. I love a good race. But hold on a second. Not now, Chris. The race has begun. <laughs> Fatima and Warda are neck and neck. But what's this? Warda is sprinting into the lead. Zon, this is very important. Shush, Chris. Fatima is speeding up, but oh no. It looks like Fatima is having problems. Yes, and Fatima lost her balance. And they don't have any helmets on. You're right, Chris. Fatima fell over with her foot. Still stuck in the bike's pedal. Luckily, she didn't bang her head. Ouch. Don't worry, Fatima. Here to assess the damage is Usain Bolt. It's actually Dr Nick Manny. You need to work on the move, Dog. Can you wiggle your toes for me on this side? <laughs> Fatima's foot is so sore, she can hardly move it. It hurts there now. It hurts there? Dr. Nick is sending Fatima to X-ray to check if she has any broken bones. We're all finished. And the results are in. Or are they? Sometimes the X-ray doesn't show all the information that we need because it's, it's a two-dimensional image, OK? Dr. Nick is foxed by what's causing Fatima's pain. It's the mysterious case of the busted bike and the aching ankle. Is it a soft tissue injury or is it a leg fracture? We need to investigate more. Dr Nick wants Fatima to come back tomorrow so a consultant in the fracture clinic can look at her ankle. She'll be back in the morning to find out if it's broken. See you later, Fatima.